I am officially declaring summer 2020 sleeveless summer. I'm also just letting my hair do whatever it wants today. Welcome to my new setup. I got my soft box lights so it doesn't look so drab and dreary in here. <laughs> or really yellow. It looks really yellow in here. Hey, I'm actually going to be filming a cook with me video or just like a recipe video. We're making plant-based quesadillas for dinner. Well, mine's going to be plant-based. Jesse, he he will from time to time eat the plant based stuff that I make but if I do make stuff where he wants actual cheese on it then I'll do that for him. This is my kitchen where I spend a lot of time because if you didn't know um, in my real life, if you don't know me in my real life, I do work in food service. Well I did, I'm currently laid off because of COVID but I do work in food service so I do spend all day mostly baking. I don't really, I used to cook but now I just do more, ba I did more baking which is my true pish. Okay, <laughs> Frank's rubbing his face on the tripod. Hi, buddy. Wow, I just realized how dirty the ceiling was. I've got a pretty good handle in the kitchen. I know my way around a lot of things, but I do come home and cook and when I do I do take shortcuts we don't have a dishwasher I try to make things easy like one pot meals and just simple things that don't take a lot of time I have a cookbook coming tomorrow that's plant-based on a budget so hopefully we can make some recipes out of there over the next couple of videos or my softbox lights came in so that's why it looks actually really nice in here so let's get making our quesadillas Woo! So we're going to start off with a whole onion. This is most of a whole onion minus whatever Jesse had taken for his breakfast in the morning because he does make himself eggs pretty much every morning. Just chop that up into big chunks. I love sweet onions. I only really like onions when they're cooked though. So I'm just putting it in a pot. This is taking a little bit longer because Jesse was behind me um, talking to me about something and then I dropped a bunch of onions on the floor. So. Yeah, so I'm just putting that in a pot. And then as you see, I'm gonna add a little bit of water to it. And I also go in with some pink Himalayan salt. There's not really a big difference between pink Him Himalayan salt and regular salt. It's just what I have. And then on a medium heat. And then while that's going, I'm gonna take a whole red bell pepper and a whole yellow bell pepper and go ahead and seed those and chop those up into big strips. Um, last time I made these quesadillas, I only used one pepper and it was just barely enough to make two quesadillas out of. So I used two this time so that we'd have some filling left over so I, if we wanted quesadillas the next day we could make them again. Back to my onions. This is probably about five, seven minutes later that these look like this. Maybe even more. I can't quite remember but they should be browning up and honestly you could probably I probably could have let them go a little bit longer but I was being impatient so I added my peppers into the pot and I probably should have used a bigger pot but I didn't oh well put the lid on and just let that cook down let the peppers steam and break down a little bit I'm doing a voiceover for this though because I tend to watch YouTube videos when I'm cooking um, so I went in with some taco seasoning I buy the big thing of taco seasoning from Costco it's a little bit spicier than normal taco seasoning but we go through it so fast it's easier just to buy it there and then I went in and put some black beans in and I just mix it all around make sure you get the onions up off the bottom so everything cooks evenly and then spill beans everywhere and put them back in the pot. And then I didn't think it had enough seasoning so I went in and put a little seasoning in and I think in a second here I put a little bit of water in because you're supposed to do that taco seasoning. I don't always do that but. So this is a homemade tortilla that I made um, earlier. I love homemade tortillas. Don't let anybody tell you that it's too hard to make homemade tortillas because I literally made this with four ingredients. And it took me about five minutes so if if you can I would really recommend making your own tortillas they're probably a little bit thicker than the kind of tortillas that you would buy in the store but again it only takes four ingredients so I'm 
So here I'm adding filling to mine and spreading it out. I'm only putting it on one side because I'm going to fold it over. And I probably could have cut the peppers a little bit smaller, but whatever. So we have enough left over. I wanted some more beans and some more onions in my. And then I'm going in with the Dea Cheddar Sliced Cheese. This is one of those uh, vegan things that I don't really eat that often. The only time that I really eat it is for stuff like this. Um, and I really like the Dea cheese better than most vegan cheeses because it melts a lot nicer than a lot of vegan cheeses. So this is me attempting the first time to fold it over and failing epically. So I take the spoon and push everything in and fold it over. Um, I think just because, uh, like I said, the tortillas are a little bit thicker than the ones you buy in the store, but I actually prefer it that way, so. I push it down with my spoon. The next thing is get a lid to trap the heat in, in the pan so that the cheese melts actually because your filling is pretty much cooked, your tortilla is cooked, you're just trying to melt the cheese to get it to stick together. So then I'm going to go ahead and flip it so that the cheese side is down. It's, you can see it's a little bit melted but once you flip it over to the other side it gets really melty and really nice. This is me trying to flip it without everything falling out of the middle. Then me realizing that I didn't flip it. <laughs> so this part, I'm just setting out our toppings um, that can go on the quesadilla. We have it's avocado with tomatoes in it, sliced jalapenos, um, romaine lettuce, tomatoes, salsa, some rice to put on the side, and then that's actually watermelon with some lime juice and some salt on it, which is my favorite way to eat watermelon. So then I'm just gonna go ahead and I cut mine into fours just because it's easier for me to eat. Here I am showing you. That looks so good. So good and melty. That's my favorite part of the day of cheese is how melty it gets. So I cut mine into four and then I realized as I was cutting it that everything was squishing out the one side so I cut it from the middle and then go back up. Then I get my plate and honestly, I probably could have spent more time rearranging this and making it look prettier, but I was just ready to eat it that I don't really care. And then I just go in and grab my toppings. Like I said, onions and tomatoes are two things that I prefer cooked rather than raw, but I did put some raw tomatoes in the uh, avocado. I, it's not... I guess you could call it guacamole, but it's not really guacamole. And that's fine, because you don't really taste them, so. But I get lettuce. I don't really like jalapenos all that much, but lettuce and guac and salsa and a little bit of rice on the side. And then obviously the watermelon with the lime juice and salt, which again is the best way to eat watermelon. I guess the only thing that I miss about not eating plant-based is being able to dip my stuff in sour cream, but and I know you can get non-dairy sour cream places, but it's just not the same in my opinion. So get my watermelon and showing you the final product. And this was honestly so good. I just had to redo my whole outro because I had cheese on my face. So there you guys go. That is my plant paste dinner for the night. Jesse's is currently on the stove. Like I said, 
he'll pretty much eat anything that I make even if it's plant-based but if he wants chicken or something with it he'll make it himself or if I'm feeling nice enough I'll make it for him. I hope that you enjoyed this and we'll see what the next video um, is going to be. It's not going to be a cooking video because I don't want to do two cooking videos in a row. I want to kind of like spread it, spread it, space them out so you're not getting bombarded but um, go check me out on my Instagram because I do post a lot about what I make um, during the week and stuff. So Frank's rubbing his face on my tripod. So I'm going to go eat dinner. Well, I'm going to finish Jesse's dinner and then I'm going to go eat dinner. But thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! My little shamrocks. That's what I'm going to call you from now on.